Thank you for joining in on this study. My name is Tanner Campbell, and I'm the minister at the Southside Church of Christ in Rapid City, South Dakota. And in this episode of Five Minute Bible Studies, we will be talking about good intentions and specifically how they affect our salvation or whether they affect our salvation at all. Now to do this, we're going to be looking at a very interesting example in the Old Testament in 2 Samuel chapter 6. 2 Samuel chapter 6, and we'll begin in verse 2. It says there that David arose and went with all the people who were with him from Baal, Judah, to bring up from there the ark of God, who, whose name is called by the name the Lord of hosts, who dwells between the cherubim. So they set the ark of God on a new cart and brought it out of the house of Abinadab, which was on the hill, and Uzzah and Ahio, the sons of Abinadab, drove the new cart. Now, let's stop right here in the account. There are some things here that are concerning to me. When we look at the law of Moses, there were three very specific laws that we just saw break concerning the Ark of the Covenant. Number one, the Ark of the Covenant needed to be transported by special poles, not a cart, which is what we're seeing here. And number two, we see that uh, the sons of Abinadab are driving this cart. But the ark was only to be transported by the sons of Kohath, according to the law of Moses. And the second uh, very interesting commandment about the Ark of the Covenant is that no one was allowed to actually touch the ark itself. And if they did, according to the law, they would surely die. Now let's continue to read here. It says in verse 6, and when they came to Nacon's threshing floor, Uzzah put out his hand to the ark of God and took hold of it, for the oxen stumbled. Then the anger of the Lord was aroused against Uzzah, and God struck him there for his error, and he died there by the ark of God. And David became angry because of the Lord's outbreak against Uzzah, and he called the name of the place Perez Uzzah to this day. What a very sad ending we see for this man Uzzah one of the individuals, uh, uh, the sons of Abinadab, driving this new card on which the Ark of the Covenant is upon. We see this man die because, well, he had good intentions. And that's why he died, was by his good intentions. The Ark was so valuable, it was so important. And as the oxen stumbled, so did the Ark. And as a quick reaction of good intentions to keep the ark from tumbling or falling or anything like that, Uzzah touches the ark. And just as God said in the law, he who touches it would surely die, we see this man immediately struck and dead by God. We also see David uh, very angry at what God had just uh, done. But that doesn't last for long. About a month or two later, uh, after time has, has uh, uh, progressed, David makes a comment in uh, 1 Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 13, saying, For because you did not do it the first time the Lord our God broke out against us, because we did not consult Him about the proper order. And so the testimony of David there just a couple months later is that they did things wrong. It was their fault and it wasn't God's fault. They should have consulted God first about the proper order of, of how to transport the ark. God, and the idea of, of consulting God here is just simply looking back at the book, looking back at the text, because it was all written down for them. They had it before their eyes, but they didn't consult it. They didn't listen to it. They didn't abide by it. And because of individuals with a whole lot of good intentions, because of these things, a man died. So let us be so concerned not to allow our good intentions that we have, and we all have them, but not to allow those things to be any kind of confirmation to us that we're right in God's eyes. 
The only way in which we can find out for sure that we are right in the eyes of God is if we're paying close attention and consulting the proper order of things as to how we ought to live our lives, as to how we ought to worship God, and so on and so forth. The commandments are before our eyes. Are we going to consult them or not? That is the question. Now, we can have good intentions alongside of that, but the important thing, the thing that really affects our salvation is whether we abide by this word.